Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on why you shouldn't use towels or terry cloth as bedding for your pet rats. I was planning on doing this video a while ago, but it just kept getting moved further and further down the list. But recently I have gotten some questions from you guys asking about towels and what's the best bedding and if towels are okay and stuff like that. And fair warning, I had trouble keeping the cat off of the towels. He just kept thinking that I was making a little bed just for him, so he will be interrupting us throughout this video. So the main problem with terry cloth and towel bedding is that it strings up and it doesn't really matter what type of towel you get. Later on in the video I'll show you a few different towels that I have and you can see where it definitely still kind of frays a little bit and ends up with a lot of fabric strings hanging off of it. Not using a stringy type fabric for bedding pretty much goes for any small animals like hamsters and guinea pigs and sugar gliders and stuff like that. And the main reason is because they're teeny tiny nails. They can easily get caught on the loops of the fabric and then this can end up causing major issues. They can get tangled in it. It might twist around their little tiny toes and end up cutting off circulation and there has been reports of people having rats that have lost toes because they use towels as bedding. Another main reason is rats like to chew and it's really hard to get them not to chew, especially on their bedding. So as you can see here, this is just one little tiny string that's coming out from this dish towel. This can easily get caught around somebody's foot or even their neck if they're a baby. And also if your rats are chewing and chewing, they can end up ingesting little parts of the fabric if they're not careful. And this can end up in their intestines and then you don't want random strings getting caught up in your rat's intestines. This can end up being fatal. And another reason to avoid it in rats is that it can get caught in your rat's tail. I'm going to insert some photos here that I have gotten permission from one of my viewers. She sent me these photos a really long time ago, not really knowing what was wrong with her, her rat. She had suspected that he possibly had tail necrosis, but to me it didn't really look like that since that usually looks like kind of circular lesions. She had taken him to the vet numerous times and he was on antibiotics and it just wasn't healing properly. He was like this for a few weeks and then I found out that she was actually cleaning the tail with peroxide. Peroxide shouldn't be used to clean a wound long term. It prevents the healing process from happening. So I had her clean it really well with antimicrobial soap and then it ended up looking like this. And it was like this for another few days, kind of looked like it was healing, but wasn't completely healing properly. And then she found out the reason that this was actually happening. If you look at your rat's tail really closely, there's like teeny tiny scales. And what had happened was a towel fiber had gotten lodged in between one of those teeny tiny scales and ended up causing a massive infection. So once she was able to get that piece of string removed from his tail scales, he healed up no problem and ended up having a perfectly normal tail. So even if you think that you have a different type of terry cloth or towel, one with smaller fibers, this can still end up causing problems. Like this one here, you can see when I turn it over, there's still some loose strings hanging off on it. And then this orange fabric is kind of the same thing. This is definitely a terry cloth fabric that you can get from Joann's. So I wouldn't suggest using anything like this either. It may look really finely put together and that it can't really loosen up, but as soon as your rats start chewing on it, it's going to cause problems and end up stringing up again. So this is why fleece is preferred since it doesn't really end up stringing up when they chew on it. There are no loose ends for their little feet to get caught in or their nails to get hung up on or for them to accidentally ingest a string and end up getting caught in their intestines. Also, in the end, fleece is a lot cheaper than any kind of towel or terry cloth, even if you are going to be going to the thrift store to get it. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.